I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of shit come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end.
Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. Nothing but your own deaths. Watch out! He's falling down the ceiling. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. Enough, Werther. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me! I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost! You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Where'd you come from? This? So the deed has been done. 
The restoration of this way shrine means that Bertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. If there's assistance I can provide, just ask. It's the least I can do. It's not as... Well, before we spoke to my mother in the soul care, I would have said we'd bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. to die. We have no choice. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand. you come Don't keep our master waiting. Take him the bow immediately. So, you've returned. Is your... pet keeping you entertained? You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. 
You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this pathetic half-breed vampire. Provided for me? Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before your ambition outgrew your loyalty. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Oh, come now. Spare me your notions of kinship. You've simply used Serana in an attempt to take away what should rightfully be mine. Finally, a trace of honesty in our little conversation. How does it feel to hold the fate of the vampire in your grasp? Exhilarating, isn't it? Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. Pitiful. Simply pitiful. I expected more from the defiant fool that beguiled my daughter. No matter. Serana will sacrifice her blood for the sake of the prophecy, and I will feast upon yours in Molag Vol's honor.
hide from us. Get it now while we can. So, you've returned. Is your pet keeping you entertained? You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this pathetic half-breed vampire. Are you insane? You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before your ambition outgrew your loyalty. A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. Oh, come now. You've simply used Serana in an attempt to take away what... The vampire is eternal. And with immortality comes the revelation that these bonds never endure. Little patience for talk. Good. Let's end this. I'll raise the flesh of your foe. <laughs>
how that's done. I'm not sure. I'll probably stay here for as long as they'll let me. I think we can rebuild here. Make my family's legacy something more respectable. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned... That's what I wanted to hear. It sounds like... That's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. Sure... Do you have any arrows, though? They would have to be of elven quality, I guess. Let's just get this over with. I think you'll need to find some arrows first. Only elven ones will work for this, remember? My congratulations. Lord Harkon defeated. My lady, you have my deepest sympathies. I am sure this was not easy for you. He was out of control, Garen. It had to be done. I'm not happy about this. He... He was still my father. But I suppose my father really died a long time ago. This was just the end of something else. Of course, my dear. All will be well now. I am above the petty squabbles here. I have lived for far too long to be bothered with them. What is it? I'll be at Castle Volkahar if you need me.
guard might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Shouted him apart. In each of us, the future of Skyrim. The future of Zarya. I trust you'll put your weapon away. I've been tending to the warriors of your Basker for as long as I can remember. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. All right, then. I'd be dead if not for Vignor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. Something has shifted in the moonhills, brother. I see everything, hear everything, and know everything. surrendered to the old Mary Dominion. They shamed us all. What do you need, my friend? Yesterday. Did you kill him? Skins as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Something has shifted in the moon. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Do you now? Hercene doesn't usually bestow his favor on the fickle. But you've proven your worth. I'm willing to try. Are you ready now? Oh. Hold still, then. be dead if not for Vignor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. <laughs> 